Hello and welcome back, my friends, to episode 4 of The Last Breath of the Corradian Empire. Now you can already see there's a few dots in here, and that's because I've been trying for two hours now to change an NPC's name. And it's been a lot more difficult than in any other, other mod because there's a few language files there. So uh, I probably have messed something up, but it doesn't have that many consequences for the game itself, apart from these dots that apparently I am unable to get rid of. Unless I take back all the language files again, so that there's some strings going to different language files, it appears. <sighs> but I've managed it. I have managed it. Also, if you are waiting for Viking Conquest, then I'm very sorry. The game, it is so much dialogue and it pains the living shit out of me. Anyway, let's just go up here. Let's go to the tavern. And we can finally see a new name here. Aiden Benavi. Now, Aiden Benavi is the creator of the story and I've promised him to be the very first companion of our army. And by the uh, amount it took me to change everything... From the name Sigmund Snow Sig Sigfrid to Iron Ben. My god, it's been pain painless. So yes, we have a few of these dots. It's only with this character and only with the world map. So hi friend, do you like to go bandit hunting for the look of you? I'd say yes. Uh yeah, it's pleasant pastime, uh bounty hunter. Well in a way, yes. If you join me for a drink, I will tell you my story. It's an interesting tale, filled with the blood, treason and fierce battles. My name is Aiden Benavi. You know, and I was born in the cold lands beyond the North Sea. I... A frighted, wait, a frighted wasteland here, barely any crops grow, and, they good, and the good people are plagued by terrible illnesses. One such illness took my mother and brothers. So I was raised by my father alone since childhood. I was a hair sir and he taught and he taught me how to fight and fend for myself when I was ten years old. We came to Corradia as part of a of the first wave of North settlers. Upon arriving my father marched off to war and I've never saw him again. As I was told, he and his men were ambushed by cowardly Imperials, who took them unaware. They were outnumbered, three to one, but my father and his men fought bravely and managed to kill half the enemy forces before being wiped out. Then I learned the news. When I, would, when I learned the news, I was filled with the hatred of the Corradians and trained harder than ever in order to avenge my father and return blood for blood. My noble origins... And my prowess as a warrior gained me commission as second in command of a naval operation against the Empire at the age of 20. The flagship that carried the leader of the expedition was lost and the commander was left for dead, so I had to take command of the assault. When the sunken ship we had lost uh, with the sunken ship we had lost a third of our enough forces when we landed, but I decided to proceed with a plan to attack. Our first contact with the enemy was a success. I even managed to capture the son of an imperial count. We tortured him and decapitated him, and threw his hat and the hats of the other prisoners at the gate of the imperial town of Resenberg. But the North reinforcements we were waiting for never arrived and our weakened forces couldn't hold against the Imperial counter-attack. We were defeated by the Corradian lo Corradian Lord in a fierce battle, where no less than a hundred of my lads fell valiantly. But surprisingly, the Lord set me and the rest of my prisoners free. You know, that made me think on the way back. But the ordeal didn't end yet. While resting by the road, a filthy bandit of highwaymen fell upon us. They stabbed many of my men in their sleep before we tried and confused, before we, tired and confused, could offer any resistance. 
they took me captive and sold me as a slave to the Vulgarian uh, of Vagir local magnates. But I escaped from that miserable life as soon as I had a chance. Since then, I no longer hate the Coradians as much, but now I hate the bandits instead. I also don't want to go back to the clan that deserted me and my lads in face of the enemy. So I wander the land chasing bandits for a few coins where I have a chance. Yeah, you can definitely see that I might have thrown away a bit too much of the language files, but as far as I could tell, they were all Spanish and. Yeah, I just want to get the names in here, guys. So, well, you might have a chance to join my army. Oh, really? You mean that? I couldn't mind uh, getting out of this hole of a surf under the most sensible commander. Okay, well, great. Okay, well, anyways, don't worry. It won't happen here. You got for And our first name companion has joined the frail hole. Oh, yeah. Finally, finally. So, do we have anything to sell here? Oh, 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 oh. Hold our horses. So we got some food. It's still, it's still going okay. Uh, we'll have to probably seek out some weapons for Aiden Benavi. I, yeah, he has an axe. Now he mentioned he wanted to have a two-handed axe, a one-handed axe, a throwing axe, and a shield. I'll do my absolute best to do this. It will be difficult because, well, you know, with the um, a diplomacy mod, uh, you can say one-handed, two-handed, shield and throwing. Uh, but but I'll, I'll do my best in uh, getting all that done. So, update managing and I will keep... Um, yeah, everything... Did, 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 if this is really annoying, then do let me know. I'll uh, re-roll as good as I can, but I'm going to give you one-handed, two-handed, uh, throwing weapon and shield. Apply... And do not do for the horses. So that is what you've got. And I'm hoping you're going to be happy with it. Now we know. We know that our forest bandits are near. And I wouldn't mind getting my hands on a few more. Raising my renown. Because my renown is absolute shit at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, do, do let me know if this is really annoying. Um, uh, so far I haven't found any other changes to to the mod and well i know i know that the mod developer is also uh watching maybe he has some words of advice i know that most of them don't really appreciate if you go into the the, the settings but um i will all know only change names oh wow this is a lot of those bloody dots and maybe he has a solution for us to deal with this issue but for now let's get our hands on a two-handed axe for our newly acquired companion. Yeah, okay. And we got our first horseman as well. So let's go. Um, I don't expect him to live long and prosper. But I'll do my best to keep a few of them alive. Okay, let's go. Um, they're actually chasing this man. So I'll do my best once again to keep our horsemen alive. Oh damn the tree! No 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 no! Don't want to be cushion cushioned here. Oh wow oh, you! You dodged at the right time, sir. Oh look at that! Aiden has his first kill. I think you really are a quite good. Well, addition to our uh, ever-growing, ever-growing group. Um, so, some guys are in here as well. Um, let's see if I can poke you with a stick. Yes, I can. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh, I wouldn't mind letting my guys finish the rest of them. Just so they can get a bit more experience. I know I will get the comments saying you should have your companions in a different group and let them attack first. Uh, okay, this might be annoying, but I can't have everything, right? Uh, this is all five. Level him up, level him up. So, yeah, we're getting that. He was wounded eventually. So, 
there is actually not that bad. Let's see, is there anything different here? No, not really. Okay, let's return. Let's uh, perform the upgrade and gather the items on the group. Let's see if he changed his gear. He got the shield, he got the helmet, one handed axe. Um, anything else? Let's see your equipment. You didn't get the two handed axe. Isn't there a two handed axe? Well, that, uh, of course, does explain a lot. I was kind of hoping that this uh, gear would go into his inventory, but apparently that's not really the case. Um, let's do an archer. Rear guards. So yeah, that will, will definitely, definitely want to go ahead eventually and start facing those bloody sea raiders. But I think I want to get up to my my cap as well. Let's go. Come on. We're almost at our cap. Look at that. So close and yet so far away. And I'm starting to feel that we're finally, finally are getting in a, a, a bit of a better position here. Where we can definitely fight and hold our own against some of the more annoying trips and I'll, I'll, I'm waiting to see I'm waiting to see what all of this will gain us in the end by the uh, by the story because I don't even know the second chapter guys I don't uh, let's go to the marketplace let's um, let's first sell everything automatically and then we'll have to sell a few more arms because that is what is keeping me in here. I might want to grab a 200 war axe. How expensive are you for our friend Aiden? Do we have some throwing axes in here? No, that's one handed. Well, so far, no luck. And I know, well, throwing free. I don't know if he has that. We'll definitely have to go and see. Let's talk to you. Uh, first things first, equipment, let's give you this. He can't even use this. Um, okay, so his skills aren't that high. Strength, throwing, zero. Yeah, we'll have to level him up a few more times in order for us to give him throwing free. And also he needs to level up one more time just to get, be able to use that two-handed axe. But we'll get there eventually. Now I know I've been going around and mainly fighting against... Um, bandit parties and I think I'll have to do that in order to get my renown up even higher uh, let's see if we can sell our prisoners up here I'd love it that they are with us here uh, that's the merchant that um, yeah figures mm. dumbass I wouldn't mind that the um, the tavern keeper could buy your prisoners from you but we have a ransom broke here let's see if the prices are different so 60 and 107 wow that's a, a massive difference that uh, might be very interesting in, in in just searching for that ransom broke but that means i will have to invest a bit more in prison management because i do believe that prison management is a leader skill yes it is so I'm, I'm thinking like strength to 21 and then charisma up to 12 gaining more leadership uh, putting some points into prison management and especially some inventory management but th th those are all words for the uh, the future of course let's see if we can find ourselves a group of these sea raiders hopefully not too large one Okay, 13. 13 should do fine. 17. Okay, we have to be careful because I have no clue how will this affect... Okay, there's someone who's joining his side. Um, we are outnumbering him. Of course, that doesn't mean anything if everyone will die. Um... So I will take a defensive position here. Infantry, archers, cavalry. Can we do something about infantry? Like, um, 
formation. Oh, we can do a shield wall. Shield wall. Shield wall. No, no, they have no interest in doing a shield wall. I don't know what that is with my F5 buttons. Perhaps uh, I got a different key on. Let's see if that is the case. No, it doesn't appear to be so. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, let the archers do their thing. I wouldn't mind getting in there for a bit. Uh, just knocking out some of their shields, breaking their spirits. Because as soon as we break shields, the archers will do their job a bit better. Okay, infantry, charge. Come on guys, you can do this. I have absolute and utter faith in you that some of you will leave. Yes! Because if we can finally manage to do these guys, then we'll gain more renown, we'll gain more money. I hate throwers. I really hate bloody throwing we Oh, you even got axes! My god, sir! Pick yourself a different weapon next time. But I, I, I didn't think it would be going this well. So, once again, I will ask you if the dots is really annoying. Do let me know. Let me let me do this a bit differently like that, and I will um, get the files back. Uh, but we probably are unable to do names. So it's all up to you. Want the names? Then you'll have to deal with all those uh, annoying dots. Get more archers. I did like the archers. Uh, get more infantry levies. Oh yeah, we we did win a few. Look at that imperial marksman. He survived, that's already brilliant. Uh, yeah, perform the upgrade, access the items up there. Oh, finally, we get a decent helmet. Probably not decent in the armor up department, but hey, we have to do, look at that, throw in axes. So we'll, we'll, let's keep those with our two-handed. Man, we can almost equip our entire dude. Um, access the items on the ground, let your heroes let the gear, manage upgrade, leave the items, gather. Leave the items in the item pool and continue. Hmm. Okay, we'll just have to see what will happen. Okay, so, oh wow, you got your two-handed axe there already, my you look, god, you look like a beast. Like that. Uh, well, what? Uh, what we should be doing is um, go to a town and see if we can still sell a few of the items so I think we're going to Revendig I'm, I'm not so worried about oh Ludus surrender or die charge come on guys look at this it is starting to take shape Okay, two and an X here. I feel like the lone horseman at the moment. Let the archers do their job. Okay, we got a few guys up here. Let's speed up a bit. Oh wow. Um, I'm sorry, horsey. Uh, I then took another kill. You are doing absolute fine, sir. You are. Holy shit. Okay, different weapon. I'll try not to swing as much with my cam. I've been, um, I've been told that it won't do that much of a difference. I always assume by swinging you will get like a different speed. Come on, hit. Ah. <laughs> now I understood we stat. Nice. Hi, Karadia. 
Oh, come on, Archers. Oh, yes. Oh, Imperial Archer. If you were a girl, I would marry you. You did fine there, sir. We managed to win. Um, this time, I will get the, um, the gear myself. Let's get some more highwaymen. Uh, level everyone up. I think I, I want my special guys like as archers at the moment. Um, anything here that might interest me? No, not really. Um, yes, perform the upgrade and this time we'll gather the items. Oh, we'll get a shit ton of them. Um, some soldiers are ready to be upgraded. This is actually quite nice. Imperial archers because they did a fantastic job level up the rest of them as well Nord invaders because I do still believe that the uh, the Norse are just infantry guys uh, let's go up here uh, what does this do for our renown it's only 66 so it's not that much okay let's go in here marketplace arm um, so this time we'll have to sell things ourselves Okay. Okay, okay. So I'll have to get everything in my own inventory. It's a bit unfortunate. You know what I will do, guys? Um, as soon as I have a new name for a companion, I will get a companion. And I will do my best to make that name fit. Uh, like I said, unless you guys really feel that these dots are really annoying then i'll have to re-roll and i'll have to ask the um the developer on how i am able to change some names now what i will do i will go around the world i will try to get my renown up to at least a hundred and fifty i would say and my honor rating should improve eventually as well but yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see. Our weekly budget is, is going to be costing us a lot. So I'm thinking tournaments. Tournaments will give you some renown. And will definitely give you finances. And just go from town to town. Anyways, that's it for this episode. So do let me know in the comment section what you prefer. Uh, the named companions and the dots. Or the normal names without the dots. Let me know if I do not get a response or reply on it. It will remain like this and we'll be naming everyone into the series. Do keep in mind I don't do this as a day job so I will have to pre-record. It could be that there's at least two or perhaps even four episodes until a change has been made. So as for now I do hope you enjoyed. I hope you are really into the series like I am and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.